Well, thanks for joining me for another fireside sketch. I, I appreciate you taking the time to watch these. This episode is really just about sharing all the ways I feel that we're connected to the natural world. Uh, I love walking alongside a stream and seeing all the uh, wildlife and nature and all of creation. And uh, that's uh, for me a constant inspiration for my paintings. So these pieces are really a way of me trying to work through and see even more deeply uh, the ways that we are connected to the natural world. It's, it's in those places that I, uh, when we look carefully, uh, that we are able to see so much of those invisible eternal things that really matter. So, uh, I've, in this episode, I really show you two paintings I'm working on. As you get towards the second half of this, uh, I, I do a split screen and show you a, a moose painting and a deer painting. Uh, this first half is is the setup for the for the deer painting along the stream. Uh, one of the things that you'll see, and I've I'm sure I've mentioned this in many, said it in many different ways in other episodes, but I use my peripheral vision a lot in the beginning of a painting to help guide me on how much detail I put in. You'll notice, you know, if you hold your hand up in front of you, look at your thumbnail, even the rest of your hand and the fingers are out of focus. You just and so it's that peripheral vision that really guides me in the way that I carry out the amount of work that I put in away from my dominant point of interest. In this painting, the dominant point of interest will eventually be the deer that you see emerge. But until I get there, uh, the landscape, the trees, the water, the sky, everything is soft focus or out of focus like you'd see in your peripheral vision. And I think that helps make the painting more understandable. And then the second half of, of this particular episode, uh, when I go to the split screen, you'll see me working on the moose and the deer simultaneously. And I hope you'll notice that that's where I try to finish the story and, and put the detail in, uh, the area that I really want you to focus on. And, and I save those details for the last stage. It's almost comparable in some ways to a chess game where you're, you're thinking five and six steps ahead of where you are in the process. So I hope you enjoy this. Uh, I'm not going to do any more talking. But if you have questions about what I do or why I do it, I'd love to answer those. So feel free to get in touch with me and stay safe and be well. She's everything and nothing now. She's cold and she's hot. She's the seconds and the minutes and the hours and the days and the weeks and the years. Yeah. But my
train 